suspension and transmission into place over the weekend. I figured out kind of what needed to be done. And I made one very similar to the one I got from Porterbilt for my truck. So anyway, three and a half inch holes for exhaust, little holder, little holes to hold it up there. Um, it's all open corner. Little alignment tabs. There's a little piece going through the center here that's just so it, when I bolt the actual little bracket that holds the transmission mount to the face of this thing, it won't crush the, the metal. It probably won't crush it anyway, but it's just to keep it from deflecting at all. A little bolt pattern on the sides here. This will actually not span all the way through. It will with these little side extensions. The idea is eventually I'll take these side extensions off and there'll be a stiffener that runs forward and back in the car and it'll attach to here too. And then they'll just make a little shorter side extension to remount to the original transmission mount. But in that case, the frame rail will be boxed. In this case, I'm just gonna bolt up to the original location. It's like this thing can be used either way. That's the idea. It's all set. All this stuff is flat patterned. I can uh, cut it on the plasma. It's all ready to go. See, that's the top cap with the little tabs. Unflatten it. That's it.